2016, the St. Regis Mohawk Tribe created the local organic food initiative, Mother Earth Eggs. SRMT Agriculture Program Manager Wally Ransom says the program outgrew its original scope. We had, uh, we had 10 students that went, we put them through a training class. We taught them about uh, taking care of the chickens, the processing of the eggs, and we built chicken coops at their homes. And we gave them uh, about, they got about 80 birds each, and we gave them the feed. And what we did in the beginning was we, every day we went to each site, we collected the eggs, uh, we washed the eggs, we packaged them, we put them in the stores, um, and it went over really well, but it was really labor intensive because I mean, we had to drive to every site. It got to the stage where there wasn't things that we could do that the, the students could learn more from. You know, there wasn't a next step. It kind of ran its course with the program and, we, and the students, they, they had the option of keeping the, the coop, the birds, or, or turning them back in. It was up to them. But we did it, you know, to get students involved. There wasn't, there really wasn't any profit in the beginning. And when it ran its course and we actually didn't have eggs on the shelves for a while, we got a lot of feedback saying, where's the eggs? We want the eggs. There was a demand. We realized that there was a demand for the eggs at that time. So we looked at it again. In order for it to be feasible, economical, was that if we raised the birds on one, at one place on our farm, so we built this, uh, we built our, we call it the 400 because it was designed for 400 birds. There was 400 birds in it. It's a 12 by 20, uh, 24 by 40 building. And we, we have the birds ourselves. We have our staff takes care of the birds. We feed, we water, we collect the eggs. And it was better use, better, more efficient use of the labor. From the chicken to the shelf, the process is quite labor intensive. We have just under 400 birds, and it takes, just the chickens alone, it takes about two hours a day, like an hour in the morning, hour in the evening, to feed them, uh, collect the eggs, water them. And then once a week, we wash the eggs. So it's usually a two-person job. Two people can wash, and we're, right now we're producing 180 dozen a week. So two people can wash 180 dozen uh, eggs in less than two hours. And then to candle the eggs, Sometimes one person does it, sometimes two. But I'm gonna say one person can candle that many eggs in about three to four hours. So after they're candled, they're, they're packaged in, uh, uh, the dozen cartons are packaged in a box of 20. They go back into our uh, cooler. And then every Friday, lately, we've been uh, delivering eggs to the stores. Ransom says COVID-19 placed more emphasis on the importance of food sovereignty, and the tribe took additional steps to put a plan in place. With the current, current situation with the virus, we're now, our eggs are now cheaper, and we can't meet the demand right now for our eggs. So we've added another 460 birds to our operation, and we will be producing, by mid-June, we'll, we'll be producing, uh, we estimate about 380 dozen a week to meet the, the current demand. Mother Earth eggs are grown organically and with tender, loving care. Our eggs are, our chickens are cage free and they're free range. They're, so they're out on pasture, they're outside, they're, they're um, you know, they're eating bugs, they're eating insects, they're getting a lot of, they're getting a lot of things, nutrition in the eggs that you wouldn't get from a, a chicken that was raised in confinement. So we think our eggs are healthier uh, and it's supporting a local economy. We encourage people to buy our eggs. <laughs> The program continues to develop based on demand. We've added on and what we've, I say we've added on, but what we've really done is we've, we've added as many chickens and birds as we can with the facility that we have. Uh, meaning the, the, the buildings that we have, we put the maximum amount of birds that we can fit in there. So we're right about that limit right now. Uh, I think what we'll do is that we're gonna gauge, you know, once we get into, once we get up to 380 dozen a week, and we'll see how those sell in the store. If those are flying off the shelves, then we might look at adding another building to expand in the fall, maybe get another batch of chickens in the fall. Ultimately, the Mother Earth Egg brand wants to share their philosophy with the community while putting food on the table that's homegrown. It's eventually we want people in the community to come and learn our operation, and hopefully they can do it you know, at their own place. What we might do is uh, start raising chicken as, as chicks. But that gives us the opportunity, if we're gonna be teaching what we're doing, 
that you can see the birds through the whole process. Regan Jacobs, Aquazusne TV.